Holy moly, Mr. Blue Boo just took a huge step. You see, I got collar on him and a leash. He let me put the collar on him today. He was against it yesterday. I guess he had to sleep on it. I presented him with the collar, and he was a good boy. I can't believe I got the collar on you. Hey, yo, baby. The poor thing. Look at all the fur that's falling. He's, his hair is still falling out like crazy. Look, look. Oh, Mr. Blue, I'm so sorry, baby. We had plans to release you. Now you're stuck all winter, and the lady from Pitter Patter tells me, you've been with me too long. You won't make it now on the outside. Is that true, Mr. Blue? I don't know. I don't think I should release you right to the place where I had to rescue you from. I'm sure you had some friends out there, and they might still be there. If I had a trail cam, we could find out. And I'll, yeah, because I know I, I'm familiar with another five cats. <laughs> and that's just from here at home. And there's a number of cats I'm familiar with over at work that are running all over Pacific and Garden and Dock Street and Town Street and John Street. They're all over the place over there. Mr. Blue, don't you want to come out now? Look at this hair, Mr. Blue. See your hair? Oh, Mr. Blue hair. Oh, Mr. Blue Boo. Come on, baby. Come on, Blue. Come on, Bougie Boo, Mr. Blue. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, you Bougie Boo. Look at him. He's a good boy. He's being a good boy today. He hasn't hissed once. Uh-oh, uh-oh, now he's getting scared. Did you see that? Look at the ears. Look at the ears. Look what he's doing with the ears now. What's the matter, baby? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm going, you will come on out. Come on now. Come on now. You can come out now. I'm going to tie you off over here for a little while, Mr. Blue Boo. That's what I'm going to do with you. Yeah, we're going to tie you off over here. All right, well, I got to put the camera down. That's it.